can smell it. This isn't working. I hate being an adult. Nom 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 nom. It's been a long week and we have a lot to talk about. Welcome to Eat Your Feelings. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite pasta dishes that they serve at the Italian restaurant that I work at with like a little twist. I'm kind of making it up. Obviously I don't know the actual recipe and adding my own little flair. I did take an Italian cooking course for four months. So I know a little bit about what I'm doing. My mom is 100% Italian too, so I have it in my veins. Unfortunately, I live in an area of the world that doesn't understand that roasted red peppers are an essential ingredient for most dishes. <laughs> so we're gonna make our own. I've never done this before, but we should be the best. It can't be that hard. So I put the oven on 450 degrees. And we're putting it in. Oh, there she goes. I put a little olive oil on it. And that's about it. I'm just gonna roast them for shit. How many minutes? So we have to do it for 25 minutes. So we're gonna make our own tomato sauce. It's really easy, like very simple tomato sauce with caramelized onions and add some roasted Brussels sprouts as well. I honestly have an addiction to these. I eat them like every day with soy sauce and garlic powder, onion powder. They're so good. Should we get into the questions while I Let's do it. Some garlic. Your ideal lazy day, go. My lazy days lately, I actually should be doing a lot of productive things that I'm just choosing not to. It's so bad. And it makes me stressed out that I'm wasting time. So that would be the first thing that I would just genuinely have all the things I need to get done, done. So I could be lazy with zero guilt. Ugh. Get out of there, gosh. You all right, man? I'm not all right. I'm a huge garlic person, so I'm gonna use a crap ton of garlic. But then I would turn on my heated bed. I would definitely sleep in till like two, to be honest. I would definitely sleep in till two. Maybe wake up and just kind of like lay there. Maybe watch a TV show. Then I would have someone else make me whatever meal I desire or just order a ton of Seamless. Ooh, yeah. Probably already Mexican for one of the meals. And watch movies, catch up on Riverdale because I'm so behind because look at me being productive all the time making these videos. <laughs> That's what I would do, honestly. You would sleep in until two? Yes, yes. That is yes. Easily, no brainer, I would sleep in until two. Could I sleep in later? For sure. But I feel like I wouldn't be utilizing my full lazy day if I slept in later than that, so. Look at her chop all that garlic up. Yeah, jump and go like I love to jump and then go like yeah. So we're gonna add a little olive oil. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I believe in infatuation at first sight. I think that you can see someone and be infatuated with them based on like their looks and their charisma. But I don't think you can fall in love with someone just by like seeing them once. For me, I feel like I can tell if I like really actually like a guy within like three tries. So, like, 100%. It takes me three tries to realize it. At first I'm like really infatuated with the idea that he's like Telling me how great I am and how beautiful and I'm like, that's right, I ate all those things. Thank you for telling me. I love hearing that. And I'm like, maybe he's like, great, I don't know. And then like on the third try, the authenticity of it wears off and I'm kind of just like, oh, actually I'm good. <laughs> this isn't really what I thought I wanted. Or I'm like, oh my God, I'm so in love with him. <laughs> what are your top five sites to shop on online? Number one. Hands down, ASOS. I really like to thrift guys because it gives me such satisfaction to buy something and like fix it up myself and make it like one of kind of unique. Next is like Zara because there's like so much quality stuff that you can get for a decent price. ASOS and Amazon are I guess like the only two stores that I really consistently shop online. IMGia is really cool. IMGia. I, I like, haven't bought anything from them yet because it, it's like, it's not pricey for what it is because like all the celebrities wear it and stuff. I just haven't 
bought anything yet because I <laughs> don't have a lot of money to spend on clothes. So that's the golden okay. color that you desire. Add all that tomato. Himalayan sea salt. Healthier. Fry here. Take out the pips. So that's what they look like when they come out. Ooh. Whoa. Ask away. If you're trying to be an upcoming YouTuber, would you consider moving to LA? I would consider moving anywhere, but I chose to go to New York instead of LA. There was a lot of fashion jobs, honestly, in LA that I considered because of the whole YouTube thing. I just feel like in like this day and age when everybody's trying to be on YouTube, I think it's kind of important to not go to LA because that's where everybody is, you know? I want to be different on this platform. And just like I was saying with demonetization, like I don't want to like become the same cookie cutter person that is on every other channel. Not that I don't love those channels, but it's already been done. I kind of like being in New York. I think it makes me more unique and uh, represents the East Coast in this community. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna caramelize our onions. Yeah! And the greatest part about this, oh, let me put, Josie said if you put bread under your tongue that your eyes won't water. We'll put this to the test. Okay, what's the question? <laughs> Are you a fan of plastic surgery slash would you ever consider getting plastic surgery? If so, on what? Okay, this is the thing. I'm not really a fan of plastic surgery. <laughs> but, there's so many things that I want to change about myself. I get a little Botox. How do I keep it underneath? It just keeps popping up. I don't think it had to be that big of a piece, but I didn't want to tell you until now. <laughs> then I would get a nose job because I don't want a big nose job. I just want a nose job like Bella Hadid's. You know, it's barely noticeable, but she just looks so much cuter. Like, and Ashley Tinsdale's nose looks exactly like hers too. For some reason, they just like make these, like this part of your nose, like a little more defined. And this just more of a button nose. Like, it's just so cute. I'd also get slight lip injections. Not Kylie big, but like, I could use a little something. I definitely think like you should work out to try to like, and like get healthier to try to make your body where you want it. And then if there's like little things that you want to change that don't overall change your look, go for it. Live your best life. Why am I alone and constantly in need of people around me in this pit of darkness we all call life? Ooh, just drop my nail. Well, I don't know why I'm alone either. I love having people around me too. I think we all just crave We're companionship, so, yeah. you know? We're social creatures. We are social creatures. And, you know, that doesn't mean that being single is bad. I fully enjoyed my time as a single gal. But, uh, yeah, you know, we all just need people, whether it's friends, whether it's boyfriends, whether it's, who knows, you know, you just need, or family, like, you just need people around you. Life of solitude is not a life. That's why, uh, there's prison. <laughs> you gonna add these onions? It's on. Uh oh. Oh my god, that's not on. Is this happening? What? We interrupted this <laughs> episode of Eat Your Feelings to address Con Ad and ask them why I have no gas on my stove when I pay my bills. So we're still without gas. There's a national grid person on his way. So since our heat is turned off, I feel like these have cooled significantly <laughs> and I can now take off the skins. Oh, 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 ooh, this kind of sucks. Well, look at that. This is like when you peel your skin when you're burned. <sighs> Ew! How many bottles of wine have you drank so far for your YouTube channel? <laughs> I applaud whoever you said this question. Honestly? Wow, I don't even know. Way too many. Honestly, like between my vlogs too, like that's just my, my YouTube channel. Woo! A lot. Oh, a lot. Oh, yeah. But yeah, like too much. <laughs> Way too much. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, yeah, me neither. Really. Neither do you. What are your top five places to eat in New York? 
Ripido Ramen was really good. The other really good ramen place that I like is called um, Samurai Papa. There's two locations, both in Brooklyn. The one in bed is like a real dive. It's like 15 people around a bar and that's all the seating, but it's so good. Oh. Chevella's I really like in Brooklyn. That's on Franklin Ave. Oh my God, the best margarita you'll ever have. It's just pure lime juice, a little agave, and tequila. Oh my God. La Contenta. That's like a hole in the wall Mexican place. Amazing fish tacos. Oh, for brunch, hands down pecan. Pecan. If you watch any of my vlogs, you should know my obsession with pecan. Endless brunch. For $25? Yes, yes, yes. And the portions and like food are actually really good. It's, we went to Walters a couple times. I love Walters for like Instagram y atmosphere. I've Instagrammed twice, mm -hmm. like pictures of food there. We went for brunch the first time we went, and the brunch was amazing. And then we went back trying to get brunch again, but it was actually lunchtime, so we had to get lunch. And the sandwiches They're were so good. good. I have a vlog where we went there too, and oh my god. Oh, forgot about that. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm definitely listing way more. Than <laughs> Jack's by Frito was so good. I wanted to go there because we wore what? She's like one of my favorite fashion Instagrammers in New York. She goes there a lot and the food is so to die for. Shanghai Cafe Deluxe, <laughs> right off Canal Street in Chinatown. The best soup dumplings you will ever eat. I've probably been there like four times now. Yeah. I just keep coming back for more. It's five dollars for a huge vat of it. Like. So now I'm gonna cut up my Brussels sprouts. Is the girl in the red dress single? I just watched your party video. Josie? Yes I am! <laughs> what would you tell your high school self? First, I would tell myself to start now because I'll regret it later that I didn't because I do. I wish I started YouTube. I wish I started working on my fashion portfolio. I wish I did so many things sooner. Lastly, I would tell myself to enjoy the people that I'm around and take in everybody's personality as best as I can. Not focus on one boyfriend or one friend and like really soak up the moments with like all the people in my life because they're not all around forever. And there's people from high school that I really miss and I wish I could have one more conversation with that I won't ever be able to. So yeah, just cherishing every moment that you have with everybody and not like getting hung up on one person or one certain thing that like will digress me from really enjoying that time of freedom when you have no real responsibilities and your life is completely ahead of you. Oh my god, you guys. Three hours later and I think that the guy is finally here to fix it. <sighs> Deep breath. This isn't working. How long were you using the stove top for before? Um, it's probably been on for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Well, thank you very much. I'm no sorry problem. if that really sucks. Right. Sorry you had to come out. <laughs> I hate being an adult. The next day. What? You guys, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's working. <laughs> okay, it's the next day, and now that we have gas, I am here to finish what I started. I'm gonna roast these Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna caramelize these onions. I'm gonna throw these roasted red peppers in my tomato sauce that is now simmering, and it's gonna be delicious. Finally get to eat my dinner. A little cheese on top. Garnish. Let's see. The caramelized onions and the Brussels sprouts with 
the tomatoes and the roasted red pepper and cheese. Ooh, it's really, really yummy. You could always make it with zucchini noodles if you want it to be even healthier and you're low carb. Watch my other Eat Your Feelings episodes on my channel. I also have a series called DIY where I do DIY projects and drink wine like this. Follow me on Instagram at Madeline Hickson. Like and subscribe, eh? as always. I will see you next time. Don't forget to leave more questions on ku.me slash Madeline Hickson so I can answer them for the next episode. Leave me your ideas for food that you think I should make because I'd be happy to do it. <sighs> uh.